Hi, my name is Bethany. And I'm Sam, here with Wonderfill to tell you about the versatility of our new design sheets. We've come up with a variety of ways that you can use them to help you with your next sewing project. But if you want more info, you can check out our video on how to use them and we'll link it in the description box below. Something I find really annoying is marking pencils. For me, it's such a pain in the butt. Honestly, when I'm marking stuff, sometimes the pen, it goes funny, it leaves residue at the end when it's supposed to disappear, or you're marking on like a fabric that's really stretchy or a crazy pattern. So it's really nice to have something to kind of keep it in place, have the design just really clearly printed on top. That's a huge benefit to the design sheet. So it just kind of stabilizes the fabric. It already has your pattern drawn on there and you can just stitch right over it. You don't have to worry about marking the fabric up. Yeah, and also thinking of difficult fabrics, if you're working with like a dark fabric or a patterned fabric, it can sometimes be really hard to see the markings that you make with marking pencils. Whereas with the design sheet, you can very clearly see it because the design sheet is bright white. So it's really easy to see your design and stitch over it. That's a good point. If you guys are anything like us, we love a good thrift and a great upcycle. And with your clothing, sometimes you kind of want to add some, some funk to it. You want to add some stitches, you want to add some personality. Um, the design sheet is actually really great for that. So you can stick it on some difficult to use places. Um, if you don't have to hoop it, your design's already there. So it doesn't really move out of place. It's really, really handy for that, especially if you're doing hand work on your piece. And you don't have to worry about trying to hoop clothing. Mm -hmm. Hooping clothes can be a huge pain, mm -hmm. especially something like we said collars as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you want to do something like hand embroidery on clothing or on anything else, the design sheet can also be really handy. Again, it's like allows you to really easily transfer your design. It stays in place. It's also extremely thin, so it's easy to push your needle through and it's low residue, so it's not going to gum up your needle. If you're wanting to keep track of your stitch length, then that's a great way to do it with the design sheet, especially if you're doing something like a sampler, you can easily print that right out onto the sheet and you can keep track of those stitches really nicely too. Yeah, or if you're just really bad at keeping your stitches consistent, because mine are always different lengths and I want them to all be the same length. <laughs> so something similar for the embroidery, the punch needle mm -hmm. also can be a bit of a pain to transfer the design. Sometimes you're using like a light table or maybe even like a window. So it's nice to just be able to automatically transfer that design right onto your fabric. You could punch it through so you know it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna stabilize it a little bit as well. So you have that structure. Like she mentioned before with the embroidery, there's actually less residue on these. So you don't have to worry about it gumming up your punch needle as well. Yeah, and I love to do punch needle and sometimes it's really hard to align your design because you're putting your design on the back of your fabric and punch needling from the back of your fabric rather than the front. So you can't actually see where you're punching on your project. So it makes it a lot easier if you can rinse the design away at the end. So you don't have to worry about any lines being exposed since it's reversed. Red painting can also be a really good use for the rinse away design sheet. It allows you to kind of use a design as a coloring book so you can print out a design and then you can just stick it onto your fabric and seal it in. And again, it's great because the lines are going to disappear at the end. So if you don't completely cover your lines or if you maybe decide you don't want to stitch out a certain part of the design when you're in the process because you're feeling creative and you're in the flow and you decide that something maybe doesn't look as good as you thought it was going to look, then you can easily rinse it away and you're not going to see those lines at all afterwards. Yeah, another thing that you kind of take creative liberties with is free motion quilting. Mm -hmm. So with free motion quilting, you're usually just kind of feeling it out, maybe doing some squiggles or something. And it doesn't always look great. You know, I can speak for myself. Mm -hmm. I cannot free motion quilt at this point in time. It's tricky and it's hard to make it look good. So you can use something like the design sheet, you pop that on your fabric and you can actually just perfectly trace out the design. It'll impress your friends. They'll think that you 
are perfect at your free motion quilting without having to follow any rulers or any lasers. Mm -hmm. um, it's really nice. Also, you can use it on any type of machine, so domestic or long arm or anything. It's also cool if you have a bunch of different quilt blocks and you want to free motion quilt each of them, but want them all to look the same. Mm -hmm. Then you can put the design on a rinse away design sheet and you can apply it to each block so that they all look the same, but it still has that free motion quilting look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cross stitch is another type of stitching that I've been wanting to get into, but have been a bit intimidated. The patterns are kind of hard to read, but with the rinse away design sheet, you can do a sort of faux cross stitch by either printing a grid out onto the design sheet or printing a cross stitch design straight onto the sheet and copying it as you go. And it's a bit easier because it allows you to adjust the size of the grid or the size of the stitches or the size of the overall design if you want to. And it also makes it so you don't have to use any kind of specialty fabrics. Ooh. So you don't have to use a monk's cloth with a looser weave because you can put it on any fabric, including if you wanna add a cross stitching design to say a piece of clothing or a pillow, then you don't have to use that more specialty fabric. And it's a lot easier than trying to read a cross stitch pattern and having to count out each grid and where to stitch because you can just mark on the design where you need to stitch. Mm -hmm. And if you're anything like me, I've tried countless cross stitch patterns with zero luck. So I think this is definitely something I'm gonna try myself. Absolutely, go. Yeah. It's really great for applique as well because you can really place it right on your design. It adds a little bit of stability on the pieces. So especially on some of those small pieces, if you're cutting out something tiny like a circle or letters, it adds a little stability to that. But it's also a lot easier than freehanding. And you cut freehand, oh man, that can be tricky. And with different kinds of fabrics, they can fray. They might be like something weird, like a loose weave that can be a bit tricky to cut. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have something like this so you can just stick right on the design. It's great for all kinds of applique. Reverse applique, needle turn applique, raw edge applique. Mm -hmm. And you can also put the designs for your stitches right on top for machine or by hand. Mm -hmm. If you wanna just see what it will look like or if you wanna actually use that as a guide mm -hmm. for how you wanna kinda decorate it after the fact as well. Yeah, and keep your hand stitching more precise if that's that's how you like to do your applique as well. Mm -hmm. We really hope that you guys enjoy this product as much as we do. Try it on at home and let us know what you think and if there's any other ways that you can come up with. Happy stitching! Thanks for watching! And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great tips, tricks, and tutorials. You can also sign up for our weekly newsletter to get the first look at free projects, sewing tips, and inspiring tutorials delivered right to your inbox. Check out the description box below to sign up, as well as find a list of stores and retailers that you can purchase Wonderfill threads from in your country.